This game day preview is brought to you by Asgro DeKalb. From the hold of Supers, the snap, the ball is down, the kick is up, it's long enough, end over end, and it's good, and South Dakota has slayed the Dragon, beating the second-ranked Bison. For the first time since 2012, the NDSU football team is coming off a home loss. A loss is a loss, and everybody's frustrated with the loss. It's how you respond. The Bison football team has two losses on the year, the first time since 2010. We're NDSU, we're, we're a dog that still wants to fight, you know, we got the rest of the season to keep going. We cannot let the same team beat us twice. We have to uh, move forward quickly because we're facing a really uh, explosive Indiana State team, uh, especially offensively. The home winning streak wasn't the only thing lost on Saturday. Starting quarterback Carson Wentz is out six to eight weeks with a fractured wrist. And redshirt freshman Easton Stick will now be the starting quarterback. I just got to be myself. That's his main thing. And talking to Coach Kleiman and all the coaches, I think that's what they expect is, is for me to be me. I'm not going to be anything more uh, than I have to be. I'm just going to play my game and, and see what happens. While NDSU's quarterback is getting his first start, Indiana State quarterback Matt Adam will look to continue his hot start to the year. Adam ranks 15th in the FCS with 13 passing touchdowns. Through the deep ball extremely well. Uh, they do a great job of, of mixing up their run pass out of different formations and motions. Adam also has the ability to run. NDSU's defense has given up 240 rushing yards to quarterbacks in the last two games. We got to start figuring out what we're good at again. We need to bring those things back and bring those fundamentals back. Defensively, the Sycamores are led by senior linebacker Connor Underwood who leads Indiana State in career sacks and tackles for loss. Uh, rest assured, we have to know where he aligns uh, at all times and make sure that we uh, you know, maybe slide the protection to him or, or at least get a, get a chip on him or so because uh, he's a difference maker and an exceptional football player. They're an aggressive defense. They're going to get after you and bring some pressure and, and do some different things up front with different fronts and different looks. The matchup between the 8th ranked Bison and the 18th ranked Sycamores is scheduled to kick off at noon central time and can be seen on ESPN3 or ESPN College Extra. For GoBison.com, I'm Brett Rory.